Hi, this is Valle, and I'm going to show you how to do batch rendering in Unreal Engine using Metashoot. So what we have here is just a default level uh, from a real engine uh, 5.1. And the first thing we need to do is to create our own empty level. So I'm going to come to the content browser here, add level. I'm going to call this one uh, batch, open it and save it. And now we need to bring our Metashoot Studio. So for that, we can come to a studio here and select one of the presets. It will automatically spawn um, the whole studio with everything set up for it. And in this case, uh, for this batch rendering showcase, I'm going to be using some uh, 3D models from Sinti, uh, the Polygon collection of the Elven Realm pack. And so we're going to get rid of the sample here for it. And if I come here to the content browser, I have a folder with um, this Polygon Elven Realm um, models. So if I come to models, props, uh, there are like tens of amazing 3D models that they've developed for this pack. And I'm going to, just for this showcase, I'm going to uh, grab just a few. So let's say this one, this one, this one, uh, this one. And I think they have some like sculptures. Yeah, this one. So I've selected a few assets in a few models in the content browser. And now I'm going to come to the batch tab on, in the Metashoot interface. And I'm going to say load from content browser. What this does is it gets all the models that I've selected here and it creates this stage array with them. Each one of these members has one of the models that I selected uh, set as the model. In the preset tab, you can actually uh, choose different uh, lighting presets or studio presets from Metashoot to apply different lightings to, to different models, uh, but I'll showcase that later. So in this case, as you can see, we have uh, a few different models here. And if I come to our batch options, we have add loaded items. Um, when this is unchecked, if I select another item here and load it from the content browser, it will reset this array and add just the one that I have selected here. But if I have it checked and I load it from Content Browser, it will add it to the to the queue or to the array. Um, enable turntable rotation. This allows the turntable to be active during the batch rendering process. In this case, it's gonna I'm gonna be doing just a single shot, so I don't want it to rotate at all. So I'll I'll leave it unchecked. And uh, snap models to the floor. So when 3D models are spawned, and to showcase this better, I'm going to come to uh, the weapons folder from the same pack, and I'm going to drag one of these axes. And as you can see here, the origin of this axe is in the middle. It's probably where the handle, the socket uh, would be. Um, but if we render it like this using the batch rendering, uh, this axe will spawn in the zero coordinate, so it will be cropped. However, if we select this snap models to floor, when we do the batch rendering, this model will spawn automatically um, on top of the of the ground. So I'm gonna leave that on and uh, out of frame camera. It does sort of what it what it says. It frames automatically the the camera. So the whole model it's always in in frame. Um, to showcase this, I'm gonna do uh, first a batch rendering without it and then one with it and and we'll compare so having our camera here our target i'm just gonna uh, leave well i'm gonna apply just another preset just for the sake of, of testing um so using this one i'm gonna come to uh, the batch or sorry to the render settings and i'm just gonna define some uh, default settings so one single shot 
I'm fine with uh, the um, output path that comes by default. I'm gonna get just a 720p uh, for testing purposes and medium quality is fine. And I'm just gonna go with the base render without the path tracer in this case used for, for testing. Um, I don't need motion blur because this is not gonna be animated, uh, but I do want the denoiser. So with these render settings, I can see here at the bottom that um, use batch is checked. So if I click render with my camera selected, it will start rendering all the assets. So the first thing we see here is that they are, um, it's rendering all of them, which is great, but they are not in frame at all. And uh, I've also realized that they are rotated. So if I spawn one of these assets, um, this pack has the Y axis as the, as the facing forward axis. Uh, in this case, we want them to be rotated by 90 degrees. Um, so you can, in the batch options, when you come to the uh, stage array, you can manually adapt each model. Uh, you have a model transform here that will apply to, to each model. But if it's something that applies to all of them, you can actually just rotate the turntable. Um, so all these models will be spawned on top of the turntable actor. So whatever modification you do to this to this actor, it will be applied to the models in the batch rendering. So in this case, I'm gonna point it 90 degrees there. And um, as you saw, all the models were out of frame. They were not fitting the, the, the camera at all. Um, so now we're gonna showcase what the out of frame camera does. If I select it and I click render again with the same settings, the models are perfectly framed and the camera adjusts to the size of the model. In this case, obviously we, we are showing in some of them the, the lighting, the environment around, um, but you get the idea. So if I come to um, the folder where this is saved, I have here all the, the renders that have been created. So these were the, the first ones out of frame it keeps the camera but it's out of frame and these are the new ones so each one is framed perfectly and doesn't matter the size they they always fit in the in the composition um the this option here there is another option um called frame ratio um what this defines is how much space around the object is left in the in the frame so uh, 1.3 is the default. If I selected one, uh, the top and, and the bottom of the object would be touching the, the uh, sides of the frame. And if I select something higher, uh, there will be more space around the object in the final frame. Um, but this is this is what batch rendering does. Um, the next thing uh, I wanted to showcase was the presets. So if I select different um, in each one of the items from the batch, I can come to a preset here, and these are presets that I have already saved myself, and it also includes the, the ones uh, that come with Metashoot by default. So let's say that we are um, just using the default ones. So I'm gonna go for with the first one for the first item, the second preset for the second one, the third, um, the third uh, preset for the third one, and so on, and for this one, Fourth, fifth, and sixth. So again, I haven't changed anything else. I've just changed the um, the different uh, presets of each model. And if I hit render again, you'll see that each model gets rendered with a different studio applied. This is very useful to showcase. You can also showcase use the, the same model in different lighting. So for example, I'm gonna uh, reset the batch and I'm just gonna create, um, so for example, I can just spawn this model, let's say, or maybe I'm gonna get one of the sculptures again. Let's say that we have this one. Select it here. And for this, because I'm gonna be rendering this shot, use with um, 
um, with this model. I'm not going to be changing the model. So I can prepare the camera already with the position that I want to, to use. So let's say that I want to, to frame it this way. And what I can do now is come to the batch. Um, I don't need to auto frame the camera or snap models to floor because I'm not going to be using any models in the batch rendering. What I'm going to be doing is creating new elements here. So I'm going to create five different elements and each one with a different preset. So I'm going to go for number two, four, six, and eight, and ten. And now if I hit render with batch selected, it will render the same model with all those light presets. For this, you can actually uh, create your own presets and apply them in, in the batch. So if you were to change this one, for example, uh, to something like purple, and you can uh, play with the lights and uh, do all the, all the changes that you want, you can come to the Studio tab, new preset name, and let's name this one uh, batch test. I'm going to save it locally because I don't want it to be in other projects. And now if we come back to our batch, um, we can select, I'm going to say the third model, so index number two, I'm going to select the batched test that we've, that we've just created. And again, if I select my camera and hit render, the first one, the second one, and this third one will have the preset that we've just created. So this is batch rendering in, in Unreal Engine using Metashoot. It speeds up a lot of time to, to create large collections of images for collections of assets and, and models and so on. Actually, <laughs> uh, I forgot one more thing. Uh, you can also showcase materials. So I'm going to get rid of uh, this model. Um, I'm going to get my default uh, studio. And if I come, so I have the automotive materials uh, from, from Unreal Engine um, already uh, preset. So it's a free collection from, uh, sorry, no, it, this is just part of this project. You can download it uh, from, um, from the marketplace of Unreal Engine. So if I come to the masters, I'm just going to select all of them. And in the batch, I'm going to empty the, the stage array that I had before. And I'm going to load the materials into the batch. What this does is it creates, uh, again, one element per material. And in this case, you can see the override material. You can apply this to all the models as well. But in this case, if I don't select any model here and I hit render using the batch, what it will do is render a sample of the, um, this is a 3D sample uh, from Metashoot, and it will apply each material in each render. So this way you can have a, a collection of materials rendered in, in no time. As you can see, it's applying to the, the different materials here. Some of them are white and um, emissive and so on, so there is no much change happening, uh, but you you sort of see the, the differences. And you can include your own model here um, or anything you want to, to showcase and just test different materials this way. Um, so this is it. This is batch rendering. Now I don't think there is anything else to, to add. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you like the feature. I think it can be really useful for a lot of studios and a lot of artists. So please leave co any comments or any questions that you might have and join our Discord server if you want to showcase your work or uh, ask more questions and have a chat with me or uh, the, the community. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.